today's video i'm gonna be filming an empties video i literally filmed one of these last month but i just wanted to get this filmed because i want to throw this stuff out like i don't want to keep empty products in my flat for like ages but there is a slight kind of um situation here i keep all of my empty products in one bag and i just had to kind of filter out all of the body shop products because i keep all of my empty body shop products for videos because i do film a lot of body shop videos and whenever i discuss a product i want to be able to kind of like show the product i am going to overlay a clip of what my pile of empty body shop products looks like so these are just products from one specific brand bearing in mind that i did used to do the body shop at home which is why i've got this much stuff but it is worrying also my nails are so long and so blue i actually really like them a slight disclaimer as well um <laughs> I have only put these nails on to film this video. I'm not wearing these throughout the day because I would not be able to do any of my cleaning tasks whatsoever. They are loosely stuck on, so one will probably fly off during um, this video, but we'll stick it back on again. And then I'm just gonna take it off after I finish filming because that's the kind of person that I am. That's what we're doing today. So yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Um, and yeah, I like them for the video, but I'm not gonna wear them throughout the day um i will trim them down when it gets to the point where i just want them to be wearable length but for now we're having this in the video also i bought a new jumper it's got a little flamingo on it you can't really see it but i am filming like an at home day in the life vlog next week so you'll see this jumper in that because i'll show you a few bits that i bought from everything five pounds.com including this snake necklace so stay tuned next week for that let me stop rambling and let's get into the video so in an empties video, I will show you all of my empties products. I will give like a review, did I like the product or not? And rating out of 10 and would I repurchase? So it's basically, if I would repurchase the product, then it's a winner. If I wouldn't, then why not? Here we have the bag of makeup. I still might not be able to get through all of this in this video, but I'll try my best to get through as much as I can. If I can't, then I'll just film another one next month. It's not, it's not that much of an issue. First of all, we have this. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. And I used to really like this foundation because it's cheap, basically. It's literally like five pounds something from Boots or Superdrug. And that I'm, I'm here for the cheap makeup. And also I liked the finish that it gave on my skin. It didn't feel cakey or it like set really nicely on my skin. And when my skin was like good with like, you know, not too many spots, I was able to wear this because it's not full coverage, but it's like a nice medium coverage and you can build it up. But I just liked how this looked on my skin. And actually I think I'll definitely um, be getting another one of these. I think this was like my third repurchase of this anyway. And um, so I did really love this foundation and I would recommend it if you um, like kind of medium coverage foundations and you just don't want it to look like cakey on your skin. At least that's my experience with it anyway. Um, but yeah, I like this and rating out of 10, 9 out of 10, would I repurchase? Hell yeah, I certainly would. We have another foundation. What is this? Oh God, right, I remember this one. This was a long time ago. I swear I used this like well over a year ago. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. What shade is this in? Oh, it's in the shade beige. I think it may have been a little bit too dark for me. Um, I love the packaging. I like the vibe of the packaging. It's like frosted glass. I do like that. It's, it, it, sits, it sits nicely in a makeup collection. But when it comes to the actual formula, it was way too dewy for me. Now, I used this over a year ago. Like, my memory is not the best when it comes to things that aren't important like this. But I do remember that I didn't like this too much. It just made my skin really glowy and i don't like that with makeup i like that with skincare but i don't like that with makeup because i don't want my skin to look overly oily throughout the day it didn't really kind of sit well under the rest of my makeup and it wasn't amazing coverage either so i i personally from my experience wouldn't recommend this there's so much better out there but for the price i think this was a decent price i'm not gonna lie i can't remember how much it is but i think it was like seven pounds or something like that i'm not sure don't quote me on that but yeah rating out of 10 i probably would give this a four out of 10 and would i rebuy this god no if i've given it a four and i'd rebuy it then there's something wrong with me oh oh my god guys we've literally got three more foundations in here i look like an addict of foundations um okay so we now have the collection lasting perfection weightless foundation i think i did like this to start with but then it started to get a bit cakey on my skin like coverage wise this was okay also it's um 
in the shade cool vanilla um i think it's actually a bit dark for me i think a reason why i didn't really like this so much is because it's a little bit dark for my skin tone um which is not a fault of the foundation that's a fault of me picking it um i don't mind i didn't really mind this i think i did actually film a wear test using this foundation on my channel like a, over a year or two ago i'm not sure um but it's probably a relevant video now anyway. Um, I, I just don't think I liked it and I think it was cakey on my skin and again it was just kind of made my skin feel like oily and I don't think I liked this. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the main thing is that it it didn't sit right on my skin for like my oily skin. Um, but yeah, rating out of 10 I will give it a 6 and would i repurchase this no i i wouldn't price wise i think it was like four pounds something um so I, you can tell that i like cheap makeup some i think some products are worth investing like your money in for example my mum always gets like an expensive foundation the estee lauder double wear one i've tried that and it is like matte like the coverage is crazy i think i wore that um to my gcse prom and it literally stays on all day like you touch your face the product is not coming off your face you have to like really like wash it off properly um whereas with normal foundations you touch your face you kind of smudged it a little bit but yeah um that that is amazing coverage and my mom has rosacea so it covers that really well so it's worth her like spending that extra money because she knows that it's good um but for me i don't need that amount of coverage and i don't care necessarily about the odd spot here or there and also I've got a very nice coverage concealer which is the collection lasting perfection concealer that's very good um I'm not bothered about that so I like cheap makeup and the current foundations I use are the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour one which I use every single day and I have done for, for years basically because it's just a solid one um and also the Revolution one one from Revolution is also really nice as well which is this one here the one I'm going to talk about so I actually ran out of this one this is the conceal and hydrate radiant foundation with hyaluronic acid so I did wonder why this was kind of more glowy than like my um, Maybelline foundation and now I've read it properly I know why it's because it's a radiance foundation and it's got hyaluronic acid in it which is meant for like skin hydration and glowing and all that kind of thing so I, I do understand that now um, it says it's medium to full coverage which I completely agree with this one was in the shade f4 i liked the coverage of it i like how it like blended onto my skin like it literally blended in really quickly but i did find that yeah throughout the day it would get quite glowy and now i know why so um i can't fault the product for that i would give it a a seven out of ten would i buy this again no i wouldn't buy this again because I have oily skin naturally anyway and I'm looking for like more matte foundations. Right, so that's me nearly through the foundations. Oh, here we have what I was just talking about a minute ago, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. This one was in the shade 10 Ivory and yeah, this is my everyday foundation. I've got it on my skin today. I i like the coverage of it i like how it blends into my skin the lasting power of it for the price i i just like the whole thing of it i don't tend to try new foundations or switch over too often anymore because i just know that this is like good i do find though that you get used to a foundation and then you just like oh it's not not that good and then you switch to something that's terrible and then you're like oh my god i need this foundation again um so yeah love that i would give it a 9.5 out of 10 and would i repurchase i certainly have been doing so yes i would we have a concealer so this concealer is from makeup obsession it is the mega conceal long wear concealer with caffeine did i include this in my last in my last empties video did i include this in that video did i no, I don't think I did. I might have done, but then this is another one. Can't remember if I included this in my last Remedies video, but if I did, then this is another one of that um, because I chucked those ones out. Um, I like this. It's nice coverage. I think I did mention it in that video, so I'll just do a real quick like little review here. Um, and the coverage is nice, blends nicely, and I like it. It's nice. And the doe foot's really big as well. It's a nice, like, big size. And, yeah, you can, like disperse the product i would give this an 8 out of 10 and yes i would rebuy this and i probably will in the future we've got a few powders now oh god something in this bag has exploded and i think i know exactly what it is oh christ we have here a bronzer which i don't know where this is from 
it's literally exploded and i think i must have got this from amazon some kind of random brand or something and it's in the shade medium matte well that's not a shade is it or is it oh no it is because it's medium and yet yeah, here we go i remember this product although it's broken now it wasn't when i used it but i remember that it was quite dark and it made my skin look really dark it wasn't really suitable to my skin tone and it was quite a ready toned bronzer which is nice because when you bronze in the sun it is going to be like ready toned like a tan because you're kind of burning at the same time which doesn't sound too good but um yeah it was just too dark for me but it was very pigmented i remember that um but yeah <laughs> it's now broken um so i won't usually in these videos i will overlay the clip over the top i'm not going to overlay the clip of this over the top because um we're going to get that spilling or maybe i will who knows okay now everything is covered in that um we have this this is the natural collection powder um yeah this is okay at the minute i literally use every single day and have done for like a year or so the collection ones and not natural collection the collection um powder that's quite confusing how there's two similar ones um but yeah i don't think i'll be purchasing from natural collection in the future because although it's cheap it's just not great brand and like the products aren't great the foundation is the worst thing i've ever tried in my life like literally i would go to school if it rained my makeup was off my face and it was like like dots all over my face like it's just not good um if you used a setting spray with that foundation you would be screwed basically which is not the purpose of makeup um yeah this was okay i'd give it a six out of ten would i repurchase no because it's actually just not very good it's not terrible but it's not good oh and in here we've got another one so i must have repurchased it at some time um but yeah so there's another one then we've got a bronzer this is from makeup gallery which i think is a poundland or potentially primark but i think this is poundland and i think oh dear yeah i think this was a bronzer <laughs> yeah matte bronzer i'm such an idiot what shades this in matte light number one um if that's light like that's not light is it is that light to you i don't know um but i i must have liked this because I can't remember using this. I'm gonna have to be honest, I cannot remember using this product, which doesn't really say too much about the product. Um, but yeah, I uh, must have liked it because I hit pan massively and used up the entire product, but I cannot remember using this. So I am very sorry, I can't give it a rating out of 10. Would I repurchase this? I wouldn't actually, but I don't know why not, but I wouldn't get another one of these. Um, but I can't give a rating out of 10. Because I don't remember using it we have a mascara this mascara is from the body shop this is the lash hero fiber extension mascara one side is the mascara and the other side is fibers and i feel like that means that you get less product in the mascara section than a normal mascara and it's like 11 pounds this is great it does make your lashes look really volumized and like long and kind of thick because of the fibers um but again it does run out really quickly and i just won't be spending 11 pounds on a mascara i spend like maximum four pounds on a mascara and that's just me personally but yeah it is good volume and everything like that and i would rate it a probably a nine out of ten to be fair um and would i get this again only if it was discounted so yes i would but only if it's discounted right we've got another mascara honestly all i've got is bronzer covered i'm covered in bronzer Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. First of all, I love the colour of this. Matches my Caroline Hiron skincare book in the background, which I popped there because I just love the look of it. Um, this is like my favourite colour. I love this colour of yellow. And I don't really remember too much about the mascara, but I do remember kind of liking it, but it was nothing special. I would kind of compare it to just one that I used to get from Lidl, which was quite nice in itself. Just a nice mascara. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. So I would give it a seven out of 10. Would I repurchase this? Yes. Okay, here we have something I've not used for years. I think I was organizing my makeup one day and I chucked out things I haven't used for years. This is the NYX lingerie um like matte lipstick in the shade god knows what i literally have no idea um but it's like a purpley shade this was when kylie jenner first came out with her like um her lip kits and everyone was obsessed with liquid lipsticks so i purchased one of these and it's so drying to your lips like i hate liquid lipsticks now because they're just so drying to your skin 
I like just, you know, if I'm gonna have something matte, I'll go for a matte lipstick, not a liquid lipstick, um, because like the middle part of the lips rubs off and then you just look ridiculous. And yeah, it's very drying. If you rubbed your lips together after applying this, it goes all sticky and horrible. Didn't like this. The color as well, I'm not mad keen on the color. I think when I was a bit younger, I kind of liked more cool toned things, whereas now I like warm toned things. So yeah, I didn't like that, um, but I probably liked it at the time, but now personally I wouldn't. So I'm gonna give this a three, no, a four. I'll give it a four. Four out of 10, would I repurchase? No. Okay, we've got this. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow thing. You basically apply it to your eyebrows. It like sets down after like 10 minutes or whatever, 15 minutes, I don't know. And then you peel it off and it's like dyed your eyebrows. This is really good. I've got one from Revolution, which is not as good, but it's a lot cheaper. I think this is good. It's not the same as getting your eyebrows microbladed or anything like that, or actually like tattooed. Um, but, you know, it lasts like at least, it lasts like a few days or so, which might sound like, why, like that's not very long, but it doesn't take long to do this. So if you do this every few days, it's not an issue. Um, I like it for when I'm not wearing makeup because when I'm not wearing makeup, I like my eyebrows to be kind of filled in. So this is great for that. Um, I'd rate this a nine out of 10. And would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. And I am going to, I'm just using up my Revolution one at the minute. We're getting through the bag guys. We're getting through the bag. Oh. Right, I've got this Revolution Pro eyebrow pomade, eyebrow pomade in the shade Chocolate. Now this, I kind of switched away from this because it makes your eyebrows look so dark and it's not just this product in general. I liked this product. I liked it at the time. I liked the formula, it blended nicely, everything like that. It gave a sharp line, but it made my brows too dark and that's just pomades in general. Like I like how my eyebrows are now. Like they're not too dark, they're not too light. Maybe in the future I'll look back and think, you know, what are you thinking about this look? But whatever, because I literally looked back on myself last year and I'm looking at my face and I'm like, what was I thinking with my makeup? But this was a big contributor as to why I didn't necessarily like my makeup because it made my eyebrows really dark. And when I look at pictures of myself from a while ago, I just see eyebrows. So yeah, didn't like that. I think I might get an eyebrow pencil soon, but that'll be done very lightly, not a pomade. Um, but I would give this like a 6.5 out of 10. Um, and would I rebuy this? No, but not. it wasn't a terrible product. It's just the way I applied it. We've got this. This is a liquid lipstick from Beauty Big Bang. They did actually send me um, a few bits when I li literally had first started my channel. Um, they sent me quite a few things. So I will always remember this company like in a nice way um, because of that. And I still have a few of their other products that I like. This I don't like, it's sticky on the lips, you rub your lips together, it, it, it's just not great. It's probably the worst liquid lipstick I've ever used. And the shade of it is super pale, like it's so pale on my lips that it just, like it doesn't look pale on here, but when you apply it to your lips, it, it is pale for my skin. And I just don't like that look. And it looks sticky and it looks like it's cakey on your lips and it just looks awful. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I don't even know if they're an actual brand anymore or in existence because I haven't really seen anything about them. Um, but um, yeah, do not like that. Ah, we've got a few skincare bits now. Um, we've got the Mud Mask Me Leave Me On Winter Mask. I've seen this brand around a lot and I've actually got something from them in my cupboard still. I, I like this, it made my skin really soft. I would leave it on throughout the day if I wasn't wearing makeup. It made my skin feel nice and soft and that's all I can say really. You know, I think this is a little bit pricey so I wouldn't recommend it for the price because there's so many better like leave on masks like from the body shop and stuff that are just as good. And, but I did like it and I would rate it an eight out of 10. Would I buy this? No, I received this in a glossy box. That's why I had it in the first place. We've then got this, which I think I also got in a glossy box. This is the Bye Bye Strawberry Booster. I liked this actually a lot. I actually foolishly used to put this on underneath my makeup, which would make my skin really oily and I've got oily skin. That's not a good combination. It's a skincare product to use at night, I think. Um, I've got an oil in my routine at the minute from the body shop and I love that. Compared to this, like there's not as much product in this. It did run out quite quickly, but I did actually really like this at the time because I just liked that I was using an oil. So it was nice, it smelled nice. The packaging is cute, but um, Rating out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Would I repurchase it? No. All right, we've got a mask. This is from 
gleaming they sent me this i did a whole video on it on my channel it's bright yellow again love the color matches my book um the actual mask itself was bright yellow as well and this was a vitamin c clay mask i really wanted to work with them on that video it was actually a sponsored video so they did pay me to like promote this product and but this video is not sponsored because that was ages ago um but i thought yes 100 percent, i will do that video because vitamin c i love vitamin c it's glowy it's like a glowy kind of product for your skin so i thought yes i think they're quite a new brand because this product kind of smelt like turmeric and i think that's because in the actual product there is turmeric to make it that yellowy color also it was very thick so it was hard to kind of push it onto my skin and the longer i had it the thicker it got and i think that's because they didn't have the kind of preservatives in this that is needed to make it last a little bit longer which is completely fine because i think they're a small brand so you kind of have to be understandable with small brands i've got my own small brand i'm learning every single day so i understand that um but yeah i always compare face masks that are clay to my own one and this just is not like i just wouldn't never purchase this now i've got my one because it was just you know like blending on tarmac onto my skin so that that does not sound good but it wasn't it was not good um so i i, I actually wouldn't recommend this um but at the time when i had it the product hadn't started doing that yet so i did like it um but i did also mention that i preferred my own face mask in that video um so that was probably a little bit rude to say because it was paid for video but who cares they were happy with it right randomly i've got a brush i think i used to use this for powder it's headless won't rate this out of 10 <laughs> because it's a brush um and then we've got this oh this is a ketophil is that how you pronounce it skin cleanser gentle skin cleanser i hated this because it did nothing it didn't lather up it didn't make my skin feel clean i don't have sensitive skin i don't need products like this i like you know more spicy products um i've actually got a body shop haul coming up next week so stay around for that and i've got a cleanser in that video um but yeah i just do not like this product because it's just not like nothing was happening and this was only a sample anyway in a glossy box that i had um but yeah three out of ten and i would not buy this again oh my god i think that's everything okay so that is everything for this video my legs are absolutely like numb like i cannot feel them one bit so i do need to like around this video up um but thank you for watching i enjoyed going through everything this was much longer than my last one but it's because i had so much to talk through and i just wanted to get it done so i can chuck them out but yeah that's my review of everything a lot of foundations in this video um but yeah very makeup based so thanks for watching my next video that's going to be up on friday at i think 9 a.m is my skincare routine so i'll be talking through my skincare products that i use morning and evening including like face masks and things like that so thanks for watching and i will see you then goodbye